Hi, everybody. Today I'm going to talk about CMOS up amp. This means I'm going to use NMOS and PMOS, each five of them, to create our CMOS up amp and I'm going to show you or to do some testing. Uh, we're going to use the RT Space 4. Okay, first of all, uh, let's take a look at the. You open new schematic, right? and then uh, you go to uh, component, and then uh, I'll go to uh, NMOS, and also uh, place the PMOS. All right. Well, first of all, you need to take a look at the pins of our PMOS and NMOS. This one going to be your gate, and this one is the source, and this one is drain. Okay, same as the NMOS. And uh, we're going to uh, create CMOS of M by using a uh, five PMOS and five NMOS. To uh, do that quick, I'm going to uh, open the uh, CMOS of M circuit that I already have created. Okay, uh, what you see is that uh, we have uh, five PMOS. Three, four, five, and there uh, also a uh, five in mods. Basically, you will uh, need uh, for standard of M. You know that you have uh, five pins, right? The first one is the we uh, supply positive, we supply negative. And this one is going to be uh, V uh, in uh, negative. This one is the V in positive, and this is your V out. The way you connect PMOS and NMOS together, uh, you can notice this one. You need to supply uh, for PMOS. You need to supply a positive voltage to uh, the source of uh, PMOS, the source pin. Same as the for NMOS, you need to supply a negative voltage to uh, the source pin of uh, NMOS. And then uh, I'm going to apply 5 volt for the supply voltage to uh, up amps and what you have here you have a capacitor 150 picofarad and uh, for the output you also have a capacitor 200 picofarad connected to ground okay this is your op amp and uh, what I'm going to show you is that uh, I'm going to do uh, the frequency response for non-inverting uh, op amp. So this means uh, you need to uh, connect your input signal. Or in this case, I'm going to uh, do uh, the sinusoidal wave or sinusoidal signal. Or you can do, you can go to uh, a component, and then uh, you can go to uh, you know the voltage here, which I already have, and then uh, you do the right click on the resource. You can uh, choose you know side in zero, and uh, I set up DC offset to be zero and amplitude to be one, and the frequency one hundred. Kilohertz, 
you also need to put the uh, AC amplitude for a small signal AC analysis same as the amplitude of your sinusoidal uh, voltage and uh, for non-inverting op amps you also uh, need to uh, set up your network so I do uh, connect 20k ohms from a negative input of your op amp to ground and also connect 20k ohms resistor from V in negative to your output so this is going to be the frequency response testing for your CMOS op amp. Well, for the setup, you need to go to the main menu of your uh, display analysis. And this one going to be your AC analysis because you want to plot between uh, the gain of your op amps and uh, the frequency so uh, I would start from uh, frequency 1 Hertz to uh, 10 megahertz in this case we need to put the MEG you cannot put M because out is going to confuse because M can stand for uh, milli right? 10 to a negative third not 10 to the sixth and tie up sweep I put a decade you cannot put linear because it jumped from 1 hertz to 10 megahertz so you finish your setup and then uh, you can do your simulate you go to run okay your plots can going to pop up and uh, you can see that from the x axis start from 1 Hertz to uh, uh, 10 megahertz and now you can go to uh, plot setting address and you can do uh, V out actually the gain uh, of the Y axis uh, the gain equal to uh, V out over V in but since I already put V in to be 1 volt so you can ignore V in so you simply put uh, V out you click OK. As you can see, that um, you're going to have two plots. One with the solid line. This is your gain in uh, the unit of dB. All right, hold on a second. Lower again. The solid line is the represent uh, gain plot in the unit of our dB as you can see here, and for uh, the dashed line, this represent your phase difference between uh, your output voltage and the input voltage. This look like a uh, what low pass filter, right? Now you can see your calculate for the bandwidth. Um, let's get uh, a cursor. So you simply uh, double click on your plot V out here. And then uh, if you uh, click on the vertical line, you can move this one around. And that's going to tell you. Uh, what is your gain in the unit of dB and uh, for your x axis or horizontal line that represent your frequency you can see here I can move uh, the vertical line to 100 Hertz you get a uh, 100 Hertz and uh, the magnitude of uh, your gain that's the 6.02 dB correct so that's about 6.02 dB 
and it's also tell you the phase different between the output voltage and the input voltage. Here is the two negative two hundred twenty um, milli what degree. Okay, so that's your phase, and uh, you can uh, take a look at this one. So uh, actually, it just intercept the dash line, you know, at this point. So you can do the reading of your the phase difference. So it's some where around here. So that's make like point two two zero degree. Okay, now let's uh, look for uh, your bandwidth. So uh, you have cursor number two, and uh, this is your cursor number two. You can move your cursor number two to the right until uh, you fire the different of your magnitude to be what 3 dB right here is negative 16 uh, milli decibel so uh, you have to move this one around see that you can see uh, the number here change oops can I do undo nope okay doesn't matter that uh, go over the simulation again run and then you plot your V out plot setting at trace and this is your V out you get your cursors two of them and uh, you move for uh, cursor number one to the left and you also have uh, where's my cursor number two okay cool. so uh, you move this one until you find a different you can see the number change and you're looking for about 3 db um this so just about negative two point nine eight so that's good enough and uh, for the cursor number two this is going to be uh, your bandwidth 44.3 kHz so somewhere around here so that's mean your bandwidth is to start from uh, 0 to uh, 44. Point I'm sorry, 44.3 kHz. Right? So, uh, as you can see, that uh, this is your CMOS of M. And uh, for the circuit, we work on uh, non inverting of M. So, uh, you finish your CMOS of M. Okay?